everybody and welcome back to day five of senior directed one act edition of tech talk yay, yay! <laughs> uh and i have here with me our wonderful booth crew sage and jeffrey hello <laughs> so if you guys don't mind Yeah. Okay. We'll be in like two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys don't mind, enlighten us on what Booth Crew does. Uh, so I am the light master. I work on the lighting on the stage, and it's a lot of fun. I get to write a lot of cues for all the shows, and it's a hard job, but once you do it a lot, it becomes easy, and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot, and yeah, I'm gonna pass it over to Sage. I do sounds and like the little mics, so we have the little mics in the uh, orchestra pit for everyone on stage and all the different sound effects and music. That's really fun. <laughs> there you go. The height difference here is very large. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, now for the actual interview question. If you could change the ending of any play or musical ever, what would you change and why? Oh. Oh. Um, uh, I think of like any musical. Or any play or, or musical. Oh, I'm going to pick one from this show. Um, I, the, the first one act this year with the... Um, the uh, customers wrong. The customers first one. Always wrong. Yeah, the ending's like really bad. <laughs> um, like the the way like the lines work out and everything. Like I would do something a little more funny. Maybe have a nice little funny ending on that one, um, rather than just like kind of like a solemn ending. So um, yeah, that that's the one I would change to something a little more fun and funny. Do you have something, Sage? Sure. Um. Oh gosh. Um. Um. Dear Evan Hansen, because the whole thing's a mess. <laughs> like, it's really good, but like, I hate, I feel like there's, at the end, there's a lot of like, untied things. Like, they, they left it very unfinished, and I get that it was kind of a book, and then it was a musical, and the musical's very good, like I said, but like, I, I, there's, I feel like there was a lot that they didn't clarify, you know? And I like the kind of a clean cut ending, or else it freaks me out when there's not like a sequel or anything. So I guess, yeah, Dear Evan Hansen. You're the fourth person this week who said Dear Evan Hansen. Because it's, it's, it's chaotic. <laughs> it does not, yes, it, of course I am, because that is exactly the right answer. Okay, so uh, one more question. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Uh, mac and cheese, because it's cheesy and it's good and you can never go wrong with mac and cheese. Um, I might want to change my answer to mac and cheese, but also um, ice cream, <laughs> because... I mean, I don't know if that counts, but there's like so many flavors, you know? So I feel like I never get bored. And there's like, you could have malts, you could have milkshakes. I think that still counts as like ice cream. It's just like mixed up. So I feel like there, I wouldn't want to not eat anymore, you know? I feel like there's variety. Macaroni and cheese and ice cream. Two, two good answers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is... Yeah. Very short, but that is the end of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Elena. Um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for watching. And you'll tune in whenever the next one comes out for tomorrow's final episode of Tech Talk. Yay. For one act. Not, not final episode in general. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.